Make your moments. Make a rocket ship. Hi makers. Today we're going to be making a rocket ship using the stuff you see here on the table and bonus, it's going to move. So you need a box, maybe some scrap cardboard, some packing material, a hot glue, tape, something to cut with, something to draw with, a circle to use for tracing, some dowel rods, four chopsticks, and a straw. It's going to come in. So the first thing you need to do is find your box and then cut it uh, about the size of like a regular square tissue box, something like that, and then cut out one side because we're going to be working inside the box and this will make it a lot easier to do. And we're also going to need to be cutting several circles and ovals, so you want to make sure the thing you're using is the template will fit inside of your box. Now, before we do that, we're going to poke a couple holes in this box that will be very helpful for our movement mechanism. So we need one hole in the center-ish on the top of the box. And we need our straw to fit into it. Now with this hole, you want to make sure that it lines up with the other two holes, and you'll see why here in just a minute, because it'll help make the whole movement mechanism work better. So we get that in there. Yep, see they line up pretty good. Let's test it. Ah, looks great. All right. Now, we need to make some circles and some ovals. I'm using this cup to trace. And for your ovals, what I did is I took this plastic cup and I squished it. And then you have an oval. And you end up needing three circles and two ovals. And the reason you need so many is because with the two that make up the movement mechanism, the ovals and the circles, you want to double them up to make them a little bit stronger so they don't fall apart or get all squishy. So you take the two and you hot glue them together. Watch your hands. Let those cure up, and if they don't match up perfectly or whatever, they have all jagged edges, you can trim them later with your scissors. Oh, yeah, I forgot one more circle. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, now with this circle, I'm going to make our handle, which we'll use for the movement. And you can see here, just get a little hot glue and a short piece of dowel rod. And then I'm going to put another piece of cardboard on the back, which will help keep some of the glue in there and also just make it a little bit more secure. Ta da! Sometimes you need a little more hot glue, go for it. You could also do this with tape. You could do that with all kinds of different adhesives. Now, with the two circles that I glued together, you want to put your chopstick into it, but not all the way through, just sort of on top there. And you wanna make sure it is as vertical as possible so that it's like a 90 degree angle. One thing I did here is that I reinforced the top of the box because that is where a lot of stress is gonna be. The Chopstick that you see there will be spinning, and if we reinforce the top of the box, it will work better. So if you're going to reinforce it, make sure you check your spacing to make sure that all works out good. Okay, now let's put this oval, which you could also call a cam wheel, onto another dowel rod. See? Da -da -da -da. But don't glue that one on because we're going to need to take it off and on a few times. Now, I'm going to put in our reinforcement. Get that there. Awesome. Yep, everything seems to work. There we go. That's the basic mechanism right there. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. It's always important to do testing while you're making stuff like this so you know whether or not you need to make adjustments as you go along. So I have a little piece of straw, which I'm going to glue in there. And if you're going to glue something thin, like a plastic straw with hot glue, make sure you use a low temperature. If your glue gun has that kind of setting, you don't want to melt the straw. Okay, it's all lined up. Get a little bit of glue on there to keep it in place. And this is really going to help our rocket ship move in a, like a predictable way. It won't like flop around too much. Okay, now we want to put a rubber band on our oval wheel. That'll help give it some grip so it'll work better. Go. Put in the top piece first, put in the other piece, and let's do a test run. Da -da 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 -da. See, it works. All right, now let's finish this up a little bit. Let's attach our drive wheel or our uh, crank handle to the end of that cam shaft. We're going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to 
poke a little hole there in the middle. We're going to add a little hot glue and then we're going to do another piece of cardboard on the other side to help catch that glue and also help reinforce it. I made my rocket ship out of packing foam that I had left over, but you could make it out of paper, out of cardboard, out of a soda bottle. You can make it whatever you want. This just happens to be what I had. So we'll glue it all together. And the only thing is you want it to be able to be attached to your chopstick. So here we go. It sits on top of the chopstick like that. Now let's add in the drive wheel with the rubber band and let's give it a test. Do -do 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 -do. There you go. A spinning rocket ship in space.